And here's a recap of the game Nakamura vs. Rapport semi-final Grand Prix in Berlin 2022. They play a Queen's Gambit, and this is all theory. And let's go to move 12. This was a very long game, so this recap is going to go to the key moments of the game. And here, G4 played. Hikaru castle long side, and you can see he's going for the attack. Now, Rapport with Black also castle wrong side because of his plan that Hikaru has over here. The game continued and we reach a key moment over here. We have an end game and clearly white is putting some pressure on the king side. And here you could, you know, play, I don't know, like a move, like a rook move, but Hikaru went for a sacrifice. He took on g6. Now, obviously, you cannot take back with a pawn because you will lose a bishop right away. But you could take with the h pawn. Here, Hikaru had planned to take the bishop. Now, that bishop cannot be taken because you have a fork, too many pawns, and white is winning. But over here, simply, let's say, rook moves, and knight c5, and you can see an equal position in terms of pawns, but quite a complex battle ahead. But here, so the a move possible was taking. But Rapport was unsure, decided to attack the rook. So here was very complex. Take, take, and take on h7, attacking the rook. Rook moves, bishop retreats, take, and king takes. So now we have this position where black has a rook, this is a bishop that's up in exchange. But look at this g4 and h4. Hikaru wants to really attack and move up his pawns, right? So the game continued, and over here, Rapport means the key move, rook h4. Why is it a key move? Because black should try to block these pawns on the dark squares, because white as control on the white square. But instead of that, he kind of panicked, played that, and here, of course, the pawns are marching up the board, and he gave back the exchange to gain back the f6 pawn. So now we're again uh, in a position with same number of pawns, but now that h4 uh, pawn is a pass pawn, and with the bishop over here, white is definitely better. Now, of course, the game continued, and now you can see that Rapport is trying to stop the white pawn on the dark squares. Why is that? Because white has control on the white squares, but doesn't have another bishop or a knight to control the black squares. But anyway, rook h3, check, the king moves, bishop g6, and you can see that Hikaru controls the f5, and now can go with his king on g5. Now, 96, king g5. And you can see that black is trying to hold here on the dark squares, but white has the advantage. So, a5 played, and here, rook f4. If black continues like that, then you play f3, and then rook f6. You take on e6. You play rook e7, and then you're going to win. You can see that white infiltrates the black camp. So here, Rapport saw that and went for a rook endgame. But you can see in this endgame, this h5 pawn is very trim. So black tried to create a pass pawn, but black is late in the game. So this becomes very technical, but this rook endgame is better for white. Now, of course, black want to take here and push here, but white is ahead as already a lot of pass pawns. This was very complex, and Hikaru got a bit nervous. In this position, he had an easy win. Rookie four played, attacking both pawns, and here you play f5. Obviously, the rook has to stay over here because you have e7. So let's say rook e2, e7, rook e3, rook b4, you're going to win the pawns, and then you're going to promote. This is an easy win. But instead, 
Hikaru went e7 directly. That was check. Played. And now the rook is guarding here. So it was a bit more complex to play. But eventually, Hikaru found, with a few minutes on the clock, the win, rook b4. And he says, well, you know what? My c5 pawn is going to win the game for me. And you can see that, rook a2. And now white is trying to win that. And if you defend like that, then you can do rook b6. And you're marching up the pawn. The king here is too far. So in this position, finally in this rook and game, because of the c5 pawns, which is going to promote black resign. 72, 71 moves in this game, very complex, but Hikaru played boldly and he sacrificed a piece, which in my opinion should have been taken, and then he con converted this rook and game. So uh, Hikaru is leading, and if he doesn't lose tomorrow and Aronians doesn't lose tomorrow, we may have Nakamura Aronian in the final for the FIDE Grand Prix in Berlin. By far, the two most convincing players in Berlin. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.